Hello everyone and welcome to Programming in Access 2013. My name is Steve Bishop. Today's video is a how-to video and this particular topic uh, is a very common request that I get from not only my YouTube channel but also f so, uh, from some of the forums that I frequent. And this particular question comes from KT Sinlau and he asks, can you show me how to display PDF files in an Access form? And that's a very good question. A lot of times what we want to do is display the contents of a file to our users actually within a form. And luckily for us, there is a uh, special component, there's a special control that we can put on our forms that allows us to display just about any type of file, including PDF files. And I'm going to show you the method of how you can do that today. All right, so let's go ahead and back out and go into our database. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Create tab and I'm going to create a new form. And I'm going to go right into the design of the form. I'm not going to do a wizard or anything. Now, I'm going to make this nice and large because we're going to be displaying the, f the entire contents of a file. And you probably want to make sure also uh, that you're making it large enough controls that, uh, that the application may have. Because what's going to happen is when you open up a file inside of Access, Access is not actually the application that's opening the file. Instead, the default program, the default application that is used to view that file will open up a window inside of your form. So, especially with PDF files, you need to make sure that the user has some sort of PDF uh, viewer application like Adobe Reader or Foxit Reader, which is, I, I use Foxit Reader for my PDFs. So what we're going to do is we're going to first and foremost make sure that our form is nice and big. It's got to be large enough so that the user can see everything on here. And I'm going to go ahead and drop in a text box and this will become very important later. I'm going to go ahead and name this text box or I'm going to give it a label here of file location. Okay. And I'm going to move this over a little bit. Just make sure it's the right size and make that nice and wide here because this is actually going to display the full location uh, on our computer where that file is that we are displaying to the user. I'm also going to drop in a button here because what we're going to do is we're going to make this a nice dynamic and interactive form that allows the user to select a file and then display that file inside of our form. So I'm going to go ahead and make this just say browse. And finally, the con control that we're actually going to display the content in is the web browser control. Okay, and that may sound like a, a, a little bit of a, a weird thing. I, I don't really want to display something from the web on here. But actually, the web browser is a very, uh, very dynamic control that allows us to view pretty much any type of file, both a web address or a location on our computer. Now, before I get to this dialog box, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this for just for a moment. What I need to do is I need to put some names on all of these controls. So I'm going to go ahead and name my text box TXT File Location. And then I'm going to make this Browse button. I'm going to change it to Button Browse. And finally, this web browser, I'm just going to go ahead and call it, let's say, uh, WB contents. Whatever you feel like naming it's perfectly fine. This is just what I'm going with. Alright, let me make this a little bit wider here. Just want to make sure that it's fully viewable and a little taller. Okay. Um, Alright, so we've got all the controls. I'm going to go ahead and minim uh, make this nice and big so I can see the whole screen here. Now what we're going to do is since we've got the text box named txt file location, I'm going to go back into the data tab of my web uh, of my web browser and I'm going to go to the control source and click on the ellipsis and we're going to get that insert hyperlink uh, dialog box back open. Now here where it says base URL we can click on this ellipsis button and this will give us our expression builder. And on our expression builder we can actually select the text box called txt file location that we created. And I'm just going to go ahead and double click that and you'll see it just plops it right in there as the expression. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So now what's actually happening here is that the contents of the control, the control source are actually directly linked to whatever we put up here 
in our file location text box. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click OK on that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to set, uh, we're going to do some of the code on our browser button to make the contents of our text box, uh, um, you know, to, to change the file location basically. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the on click event for our browse button and go to the code builder. And the first thing I always do is I want to make sure option explicit is set up here just so that in case I ever fat finger a variable or something that it'll tell me. All right, now the first thing that we want to do is since we want this to display some sort of file, uh, you know, display a dialog to the user for the file location, we're going to go ahead and create a file variable as a file, oops, file dialog. Now you may get a prompt that you need to add uh, a particular reference and that's perfectly fine. It'll probably just prompt you in Access 2013. It'll just prompt you for th uh, the particular type of reference that you need. And I can't remember which one it is off the top of my head, but I believe it is this Microsoft Office Object Library. I'm not entirely sure. But you will get prompted for it and just make sure that you go ahead and add that reference. Okay, so now that we've got our file variable uh, declared here, I'm going to go ahead and set uh, oops, set file equal to application file dialog and in parentheses we do MSO file dialog picker. Okay, and that is a particular, a, a very special type of file dialog that allows us to specify, to, to pick a particular file and then return the results from that dialog. So let's go ahead and do that. And actually take out some of that, some of that extra space there. Okay. So now that we've set that, let's go ahead and make sure that file allow multi-select is false because we don't want to allow the user to pick more than one particular file. Now let's go ahead and do fi uh, if file show. And if the user doesn't select a file, this will return false. So we can just say that you know, it's going to make sure that uh, show is going to return true if some if they did actually pick a file. So we can say if file dot show is true, then and I'm just going to do my end if statement here ahead of time. And we're going to go ahead and set me dot txt file location equal to file selected items and item in parentheses it's the first one just make sure this is a collection it is not a uh, array so one is actually the first value that the user selects okay and really that's pretty much it that's all that we really need to do we just need to change the file location based upon what the user has selected from the file dialog and if they, of course, select no file, then it's just going to go ahead and skip the assignment and end our sub. So we're good there. Let's go ahead and save it. And it looks like it needs us to save the form. I'm going to go ahead and call it form PDF display, or actually form file display. Let's call it that. Okay. So just make sure. Okay. And then we'll hit the debug. I want to compile it just to make sure I didn't make any errors. And that looks good. All right. Now I think we're actually ready to go. So let's go ahead and save it one more time. Let's go ahead and view the form. And right now, since there's nothing up here in our text box, we're getting an, uh, the address is not valid. You could set a default value up here in the text box if you really wanted to, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the browse button and there's our dialog window. Uh, if I click on the NFL football, we see the .jpg. I'm gonna go ahead and click okay and voila. It automatically does the refreshing and everything and updates the image that is displayed in our web browser control. Let me go ahead and change this over to a PDF because that was what specifically was requested. And I have a PDF file here under test. There's my report one, um, report one PDF. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you'll see it'll take some time here, but this is the Foxit viewer opening up as a window inside of my form and I can go ahead and do all of the controls that are available to me for uh, for Foxit and I think I can even expand this out yeah I can make it the full screen here so or I can have the controls up there so and I can of course hit the save or the print or email all of the controls that Foxit provides for me are open inside of this window 
All right, so there you go. That is how you can design a form that opens up a particular type of file and displays it to the user in your form.